I didn't kill anyone I know of. Authorities went to Ian's old farmhouse. They were confronted by a house of horrors. Body parts all over the house, chairs upholstered with human skin. Had you ever been in the man's house? No. A dead skid mask that matched another woman who had gone missing. And they found Bernice Warden's body hanging upside down, dressed out like a deer. Life magazine did a pictorial spread. The headline was House of Horrors Stuns the Nation. They found a box of noses, a box of vulvas, a belt made of moon nipples. They found Bernice Warden's head in a burlap sack. I might have done something, but not to my knowledge. To my knowledge, I didn't do it. Ed was creating a woman's suit. They found he also had skin legging in his house. He said that he would wear this stuff and go prancing out in the moonlight. That's right, that I knew her and everything. Uh, well, uh, see, uh, I couldn't swear that. When Ed finally confessed, he would say, well, I kind of remember this happening. You know, that ain't clear to me. It all happened when I was in a dazed condition. Except the way it's been told, and there was blood there. Well, the other they cut up, but this is more than it wasn't completely cut up. So... There are definitely rumors that Ed was contemplating performing a sex change operation on himself. Just mind-boggling. There's a, well, a kind of feeling now I will get away with it. I'll get found out. Will she know I was telling a fib? What? Flesh smells of chicken, you know. Ed was drawn to women who resembled his mother. My mother was really good to me. 